Get ready to dive deep into the strategies that power the most successful AI agency websites, because I'm about to unveil the secrets behind their mind-blowing conversion rates. In this episode, I'll take you on a journey through a landing page meticulously crafted by the Vendasta team. It draws on insights from the winning formulas of over 60,000 agency partners, some of who are getting dozens, if not hundreds of new leads per week. It's insane. We've cobbled together the best bits from their landing pages into one perfect case study, and I'll help you dissect every aspect of that landing page and why it works. The subtle psychological design tactics to the cleverly placed CTAs, how they've optimized their websites for SEO, compelling proof points and copy, seamless forms, and how it all flows through together. Now, the best part is that these changes are super easy to follow along with. You'll be asking yourself why you didn't do this sooner, because it's that simple, and you should be able to implement them on your own website in a heartbeat. Let's get started. Welcome to Brain Boost AI, Portland's premier AI and automation agency. So what we've crafted here is a website landing page on the timeless principle called the three modes of persuasion. This actually originated from Greek philosophy and refers to ethos, which establishes the writer's credibility and authority, pathos, the appeal to emotion, and logos, the appeal to logic. Now, the world's best designers and marketers use this very same concept for website design, whereby ethos embodies the professionalism and credibility of the website, pathos reflects the website's ability to resonate emotionally with its users, and Logos, which highlights the website's capacity to communicate information clearly and logically. Let's now dig into each block of our landing page. Okay, so check out the opening visual. Absolutely beautiful. So when people land on the page, what we've done is used warm colors contrasted with darker ones to make the design eye-catching. So that aligns to the pathos principle, where it's appealing to the emotion and that natural human desire to see positive colors and positive shades. When people land on the page, the first thing they see is a bold, strong claim. We're Portland's top AI and automation agency, and that aligns to the ethos principle, where it creates the perception of credibility. And what we've done here is kept the language super simple. Everything is in very short blocks of text or just lines of text to tick off Logos, the ability to convey information logically, easily, and simply. So you can see some of the descriptions we've used here. We mix AI and a dash of automation to get your apps working together like a dream team short bit of text. No more manual sweat, just smooth, speedy operations that amp up quality and delight your customers. There's nothing technical here. We're speaking to the benefits for the prospect visiting this website. Now you'll notice, uh, again, the warm colors, the use of green, and even the Brain Boost logo. We've kept um, a very simple theme, but we've made it consistent, okay? So we've gone with a green theme and a retro 80s look to make our imagery really pop out. So you wanna think about what's gonna make your website unique and use a cons consistent theme throughout in terms of your images and visuals. And already when people land, they're getting exposed to two CTAs. So on the top right nav, we've got the contact us button in green. So um, a use of a positive color there, but we're also creating some stimulation. We've got a book of discovery called CTA beneath that bit of um, initial text. And, and so it's really important to mix up your CTAs and layer them throughout the website. We wanna be putting these in as much as possible without it becoming too overwhelming. Okay, so then let's move on to the next section of the website. So we've got here, meet our clients, and we've got a piece of data that really sticks out. So what we're trying to do here is align to the pathos principle. We really want to use big numbers um, and, and, and things that we've actually achieved for our business to establish credibility with website visitors. So you can see some facts here meet our clients, Seagull Real Estate, Pool Service, etc. These are some of the biggest local businesses. And so when prospects land on our webpage, they go, wow, awesome. This agency works with all these great businesses that I know. So what you want to do is put the brands and images of your top clients to showcase them to visitors to establish or enhance that credibility. 
And the data point we've chosen to show here is 70,000 plus hours saved. We've got a little bit of text here. We've saved our clients over 70,000 hours of manual work by replacing it with AI and automations. Book a discovery call, really important to have those CTAs. And the reason we make um, uh, the 70,000 plus hours data set pop out is, you know, we want to convey to them emotionally. So really uh, aligning to the pathos principle there, it should make a local business go, wow, sweet, I, I wish I could save that much time for my business. I'm compelled to look at this more. So the next section, what we're doing is explaining a bit about how our agency works. And already you can see from the use of the heading we've got here, U plus AI automation. Now we did that at the very start, Portland's top AI and automation agency. We did it here, U plus AI automation, keywords. Okay, so this is gonna help our SEO optimization. You wanna sprinkle this in through your landing page copy um, as, as much as you reasonably can. Now, what we've done in this section is use a creative way to explain what we do and kept every element minimal and eye-catching at the same time. So rather than going through a long description, we decided to break it out into three boxes. Number one, map your systems. Two, number two, make it smart. Number three, keep it running. Okay, so that's gonna be much more palatable and digestible to a website visitor. And we've kept all the information in that non-technical. Okay, so we show the step-by-step -step approach in as few words and as simple language as possible. So we're appealing to their logic and their desire to see information that's conveyed logically, but also simply. And it's really important to keep things at a high level here. So we're not going into how we use workflows and how we do these integrations. You can have a link here that takes them to a separate page to explain that stuff. What we really wanna do here is just establish Here's what we can do for you, and we make it really simple and easy for you to work with us. So the more you can align to their desire for uh, simplicity, the better it is, the more likely they are to click on a CTA. And by the way, everything we've done here aligns to how you would naturally pitch to a prospect if you were to have a discovery call with them. So in an earlier episode, we've um, filmed an AI automation sales pitch for agencies and we've created a white label presentation you can use. Check that out or go to our channel to find that video. I'm sure you'll enjoy it and get a lot of value out of that presentation. And please don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and please hit that notification bell as well so you'll get alerted when we're out with new episodes. Okay, so in the next section of our website, we're really cementing on the ethos principle here and establishing and expanding our credibility. Okay, so we've got a case study here. We've got a testimonial here. And we've also got a GPT module we've developed that visitors can play with to make our website really fun, but it also serves as a lead magnet. Okay, so when it comes to the case study, it's really important you use data and it's really important you show specific results. So in this case, we got 27 leads in three days for a foot clinic and we've got three bullet points on how we did it. Okay, be as specific as possible. And then coinciding with that, we've got a testimonial from our client. Okay, so really establishing establishing our credibility here with a real world case study and um, uh, uh, some good comments that we had from the customer who we did that for. And now what we've got here is not sure what to, what to automate. In this section, what we've done is actually built a tool. So when they click on get your ideas now, they will be able to play around with an AI module that we've developed and express their pain points or things in their business that they would like automated. And then our AI tool is gonna give them those ideas around what workflows and automations or AI tools we could possibly deploy for them. Now, this is designed to be a lead magnet and also capture really good information so that if a prospect was to submit a form and book a discovery call, our agency's team is already armed with so much information and potentially even a solution for their business ahead of time. It's gonna look like an absolute work of genius. If you wanna see me develop this AI tool and explain how you can do it for your own agency, please drop a comment in this video below and I'll be happy to do that in an upcoming video.
So think of ways that visitors can have fun interactions with your website, because that's just going to make them more invested in getting to know more about you and potentially doing business with you, right? So in this case, we've got an AI module. You could use a chatbot. You could use a calculator. There's many, many different options, but we want them engaging and enjoying the user experience. And again, you'll see that we've dispersed different uh, CTAs throughout the website. So we've got here, book a discovery call. This time it's in a hyperlinked text format rather than the button. So keep those variations going throughout your website. So in the next section, we're really trying to hit the client's pain points here and provide some high level examples of what we could automate for them. Um, I guess before talking about that though, let's refer to the psychology of the imagery that we're doing here. Okay, so you can see throughout the website that we have interweaved between green and black and uh, gray backgrounds. Really important that you keep stimulating website visitors by changing up things that are happening in the background, right? That's gonna keep their stimulation and excitement going, and it's going to want to make them scroll down on it more as well. It, this is a really smart design tactic, and you know, feel free to go test it on yourself. Would you keep scrolling through a website that had a entirely black background or a white background, rather than interchanging background, right? Because that just keeps the excitement up. Now again, what we've done here is we've kept our theme consistent. So we've got a robot looking out into the horizon here, again, fitting in our retro green theme. And what we're trying to target here is um, uh, helping these prospects understand the pain points that we can help them solve, okay? So number one, customer service. Number two, sales and marketing. Number three, finance and operations. Really important you be high level with this stuff and not go into detail, but you totally have the option to create drop downs for elements like this to explain this is how we do it. And here's a case study of how we helped someone with customer service, how we eliminated a sales and marketing um, pain point with these automations. But at the initial outset, really keep things high level and simple. Okay, so when we get to this next section, what we're doing is establishing uh, more legitimacy, uh, but also um, showcasing our authority and expertise. So people are uh, probably visiting our website, they're scrolling down here, they seem to like what we do, and they wanna know, well, how, how, do you, how do you guys do it? Okay, do you use established tools? Do you have established partners? Because that can be important for some uh, prospects. And so we've laid out some of the tools that we use, Mendasta, Zapier, ChatGPT, OpenAI, Gemini, all very, very well-known brands. So this is um, uh, more aligning to the ethos principle. We're establishing credibility. We're using big brands that everyone knows and trusts. And again, we're keep, we keep on sprinkling SEO through the website. So AI and automation experts and use of CTAs as well. So book a discovery call. At every moment that, that they seem to be convinced, we want to have that CTA button as quickly as accessible as possible. Okay, so we're now down to the final major element of our website. So you can see again how we're changing up the design, how we're changing up the colors to keep stimulating visitors, keep getting them to scroll down, and we've really we've put the booking form wrapped it around positive colors, okay? And we've used some subtle tactics here, right? Everyone hates filling out a long form. So what we've done is made, made this form into two columns to make it seem shorter to fill. We've asked for as few details as possible. First name, last name, phone number, email, company name, website URL. You might not even need uh, their phone number or their last name. The fewer fields you have, the more it seems easier for them to fill it. But there's one tactic I really want to talk about here, okay? Often what um, websites do is they just leave these fields pretty much blank for you to finish. We've used um, a clever tactic here where we've asked in that last form field there, what is your biggest challenge? So humans, like AI, need to be prompted, okay? And I guarantee if you ask specific questions like this, you are going to get a lot more details into the queries coming from your leads. So think about what you could ask them, make these uh, forms as short as possible, and try and compress their size from a design perspective as best you can. And then to give them that final nudge, we also have a testimonial sitting right next to the form. 
okay? Get them to think emotionally, make it easy for them, show them the credibility as well. You're a partner that can really be trusted to work with, okay? So that's the final element of the website. And then we have the footer. You can feel free to add any additional information that you want. An about us section, which I'd highly recommend, a case studies section, um, your privacy policy, your blog, of course, anything you can do to keep adding more content so that you can uh, enhance the SEO optimization of your website and showcase more of that credibility uh, through, through things like case studies, testimonials, and examples of how you really do things for your AI agency. Okay, so that covers your core landing page. There are many things that you need to be thinking about adding on top uh, to enhance interaction and to, of course, drive people to this landing page, right? So things like an AI chatbot, so if you're not available or people don't want to fill out, fill out a form, they can talk to a chatbot instead. If it's out of hours and people really want to speak to someone from your agency, uh, they give you a call, it gets diverted to an AI agent, and that AI agent um, takes in their questions and answers some of their uh, que queries that could be more advanced, but uh, still be followed up by a sales rep. And think about things like, of course, digital advertising, posting blogs consistently that are SEO optimized so that you rank on Google and get traffic to this page. And like I said, think about fun ways people can interact with your website, like a GPT module that they can uh, that they can talk to basically to figure out what automations could be beneficial for their agency. Okay, so to wrap things up, think about using the ethos, pathos, and legos principle. So credibility, emotion, logic, simplicity. We want to blend all of that into our website. Think through every marketing and AI lens as you build out the elements of your website. Is it optimized for SEO? Uh, does it have stimulating design? Is the copy simple and easy to understand? Keep a consistent theme, but consistently stimulate your audience by changing up colors, designs, um, shades, backgrounds. CTA, CTA, CTA. Put them everywhere, but change up the links and buttons and the text be behind the CTAs. Use testimonials and case studies. That's really, really important uh, for every agency to establish its credibility. Make your form as easy to fill out as possible and ask them a detailed question in that form. That's it for me. I hope you learned a ton about building a landing page that converts website visitors like crazy. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And please do drop a comment if you want to see me build and test out that AI module so that it can be an awesome experience for prospects when they're visiting your website.